blue chips. This episode of Blue Chips, I'm going to jump to the future to show you guys what Caesar Benson will be capable of doing once he makes it to the NBA, and then we're going to go back to his high school days. So it's going to be a long story and journey. I could just jump straight to NBA 2K13, but I like the storyline. I want to kind of build my guy along the way. And the song I'm about to play is from the Bandits. These are the same guys that did the, the intro music for Blue Chips, that my normal theme music. So I hope y'all guys enjoy this video, and remember, we got a long journey, journey so sit back and uh, take a seat and enjoy. I knew that I was doing the second I stepped on the court. That's the main reason why I came to New York. I knew they had Stoudemire, Camelo, Jason Key here to teach me a little bit. I mean, this is why I came to New York. I'm a big city kid. Did I mention I was a rookie? 26 assists? Yeah. Now you heard it from the horse's mouth, man. A Knicks record. I'm only a rookie and I'm already smashing records, dog. Look, I'm going into the NBA smashing everything. But I'm going to take it back for the people that don't really know what's going on with 3B, Caesar Benson. Look, I'm a blue chipper, man. All the colleges in the nation want me right now. Look at my car. You think I got this on my own? Nah, courtesy of the University of Miami. They broke me off with a little cash a week or so ago, and I got my ride hooked up, man. I mean, I got the U on the front, you know what I'm saying? Representing, baby. My coach want me to talk to LSU. I'm like, coach, man, I'm born and raised in the, in, in the South, man, the dirty. I want to go to Miami. But he was like, I might, LSU got something real nice for me. So I was just like, eh. I heard the news about Mathis getting locked up today for weed again. I'm like, I, honey bass is locked up. He, he was the hype. Yeah, so if I would went there, you know, I would have got a lot of TV time because of him. But now he's locked up. I mean, I don't know if I want to be a part of that. You know, I don't want to be around weed and drugs and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, I, I steal cars every now and then, but that's that's something different, you know what I'm saying? I don't really I don't really get into it like that. But look, I'm about to be late to our game, man. I'll see you at the game. I was one of the top athletes in the nation. Let me explain my situation to you. Not just the state in the nation. I'm a 6'7 point guard, a 6'7 quarterback, dual sport. I can come to your school and change the whole appearance of your program, of your sports program. And schools knew this. At our home games, we had a section just for colleges, college recruiters, because of me. I mean, it was crazy. I was a star on our high school basketball team, but I had some teammates that helped me out. Big Stackhouse here. This guy transferred here in his 10th grade year. He was a Haitian. He really didn't understand 
him, he didn't understand us, but he knew basketball, and he was a presence on defense. And we had another guy on our team, we called him Shaggy. Shaggy was a monster, man. He had a nice jumper, but he was a deceptive, nasty player. He would take it to the rack on you. Now myself, I'm a pass first kind of guy. A lot of people don't believe this, but I am. I like to play decent defense and get the ball to my teammates. Now, will they finish? I don't know. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. But I'm going to pump you the ball as much as possible. Defense was next on my list. I could score as well. I mean, sometimes I got some lucky rolls, but hey, that's how the ball bounced. I look at defenses. If I can stop you from scoring, you can't score on us, so we won't lose. I mean, I knew how to put the ball in the hole. Don't get it wrong, but that just wasn't my thing. I, I had the size and the ability and the strength to do so, and the quick feet to take the ball to the rack. I think I could have scored more points game if I wanted to, but that was not always my goal. I said my goal was to facilitate and get the ball to my teammates as much as possible. I mean, I, I was a little awkward sometimes. I was six, seven. I couldn't handle the ball as nice as I wanted to. I mean, I was pretty decent, but I didn't have the handles of a uh, Tim Hardaway or some guys like that. So my main thing was to get the ball to my teammates, let them contribute for when I was still in the game, and everybody would stay focused. But sometimes I just had to take over. I mean, I was I was a star. People came to see me. So I had to put the ball in the hole. Sometimes I try to do too much on plays, and that's one of the things my, my high school coach was trying to get me to, to calm down. The guys were taking it to me. They knew I was a star. They knew if they shut me down, they probably would get more looks in colleges. So I got a lot of abuse. And the referees, they didn't always call fouls because I was a big guy. So, I mean, I really think this was fair, but I guess it came with the territory. So I had to put the team on my back and do what needed to be done. After our third game of the season, we was 3-0. A coach told me he wanted to show me something. And I was like, Coach, what's this, man? He was like, it was a gift. I'm like... I'm like, coach, come on, man. You know, I'm thinking to myself, I already took the money from Miami. He don't know I got the money from Miami. He told me he can get a job as an assistant coach with LSU, and this will be mine. I'm like, coach, man, you think I can just ride around town with LSU on my car and a new school Mustang and nobody don't know who, how I got it? I'm like, come on, coach. I mean, let's be realistic about this. I, mean, I understand I got the car right now with a U on it, but I'm, I stay in Miami. I'm a Miami fan. That I can pass with that. And it's an old school car. I mean, this is a 2012. I can't pass. Man, man, I was like, look, but look, let me see the keys at least. You know what I'm saying? And the car had so much power, man. This car had so much power. I was like, about to wreck in the parking lot, dog. Oh, man. I ain't gonna lie to you though, it felt good, man. It felt good, man. I mean, the interior was right, it was handling real, it was holding the road real good. I mean, shh, man, I can just see your bad honey in the other side, on the passenger side with this right here. I, I just know it, dog. I mean, I'm turning corners, <laughs> they go kiss you right there. Hey, Keisha! What's up? What's up, Katrina? Yeah, baby! You know they looking at you jocking your boy. They jocking your boy. Let me let me calm down before I fuck up something. But you, hey, with this right here, dog. Oh my god. Ah, oh, this feeling real good right now, man. <laughs> the real dog. Ah, oh, I mean I love my old school, but this new school feeling so good right now. Oh, hey, I'm about to fuck up something. I'm about to fuck up something. <laughs> hey, this is a little too much. They hear me in it, just just pushing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I can control it for real. I don't know if I, hey man, it's, it's feeling real good. Ellis, you making it real hard right now, man. But I know if I take this car, I'm gonna be on the news just like, oh shit. Look, man, I'm fucking up. Look, let me take this car back, man. Let me take this car back. I'm not trying to be on the news like Honey Badger, man. I'm not trying to do this, man. 
Ah, LSU, why y'all making it so hard like this, man? What you think I should do, fam? Stay at home at Miami, resurrect the program, football and basketball. Be a hometown hero. Go to LSU, you know I'm in the national title run every year. Every year, what should I do? 